In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called applying the quadratic formula, exact answers. So recalling the quadratic formula says that x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we can apply this where we have the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And for this example, we can see that our a is two, our b is six, and our c is a negative one. And so plugging into our formula, x is equal to, first is negative b, and b is six, so that would be negative six plus or minus the square root of b squared, Again, b is 6, so b squared is 36, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is a negative 1, and this is all over 2 times a, or 2 times 2. Having made the substitution, we can simplify. The first things I would simplify would be the multiplication. So rewriting this is minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 4 times 2 times negative 1 is negative 8, and the two negatives here we cancel, so this would be plus 8 all over 4. Then I can simplify the radical and say that x equals negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 44 over 4. And then the radical 44, I can rewrite 44 as 4 times 11. And that would allow me to bring the 4 out because the square root of 4 is 2. So x equals negative 6 plus or minus 2 square roots of 11 over 4. And we recognize that we should be able to simplify the 6, 2, and 4. And to make sure I don't make any errors here, in order to cancel with the 4 in the bottom, I need to factor out the number that's going to cancel with it. So since my negative 6 plus or minus 2 square roots of 11 have a 2 in common, I can factor out a 2, leaving me with negative 3 from the first term, plus or minus now just a regular square root of 11, all over 4. And here I can cancel the 2 and 4. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 twice. So my final two answers here are that x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 11 all over 2. If we were writing it as two solutions, we could use the positive negative 3 plus the square root of 11 over 2 and the negative negative 3 minus the square root of 11 over 2 as our two solutions.